this is Stephen Preston from Broadcast. And with me today is uh, Simon Davies, the Managing Director of Rycote, who's going to explain to me a little bit about the new, smaller version of the Cyclone windshield. Good morning. Hi. Um, yeah, we've, we've uh, had the Cyclone out for a year now. Uh, we came out with one size this time last year uh, of the Cyclone, which was the largest model that we're ever going to do. And what we're showing at the show this year is the two smaller sizes to complete the range of the sizes. So. A few new features uh, in the in the cyclone as well, which uh, have sort of like come about from talking to customers over the last uh, sort of like nine months or so, real world use and uh, you know uh, things that we felt that had to come, but they come because we're quite a small company and a small development team. We can enhance the product as we go, and so we're showing them here for the first time. Are there any particular features you'd like to highlight about the product? Yeah, well, in, in this, it, particularly in the new ones that we're showing today. It's the smallness of the size and, uh, and the, the reduction in weight and the obvious bit as well that people who have seen the cyclone from last year is that it's now going to be grey so it reverts back to the classic Ryko colour rather than the, uh, the black cyclone that the, that's been out for the last year. So. But yeah, a few features internally as well which allow us to use uh, the smaller sizes for uh, uh, very, very popular microphones like the 416 and the shirt seam it uh, in the smaller sizes. So. Uh, one big thing is always weight uh, at the end of the pole and size and so this is reducing that and as before you don't need to use a fur wind jammer to get the wind performance uh, but you get very good transparency. So. And how long would a product like this be in development? Oh well I mean in some cases some of the parts like the magnets, the shape, the structure uh, have been well over 10 years actually. What we tend to do is um, uh, we come from a background of sound sound recorders who uh, come up with the designs and so uh, uh, it's very important for us to actually test it in the real world rather than just sort of like put it in a chamber. Uh, wind doesn't come in one direction, you know, it's very variable and so uh, it takes a little longer than it should do. I think sometimes if you were looking at it from a, uh, a manufacturer wanting to sell stuff and make money on the back of designs but at the same time we know that we can't afford to get it wrong, you know, so we like to design things, let people try them, feedback, change it, try again, and that's when we'll put it out there. So. Um, and is there a recommended wind speed you can work up to? or is there... Well, this is it. I mean, um, we, we're very... Uh, it's, it, the, the simple answer would be no to that, but because uh, it comes from so many different directions, you know. So, wind is very, very variable. I mean, unless you've got it strapped on the side of a car and you're driving along at 50 miles an hour, uh, then then it's very unidirectional. But in normal cases, uh, because it can come from everywhere, uh, we, we, would, we we always sort of like avoid, you know, quoting a sort of like miles per hour, because uh, wind just doesn't work like that. So, usually it's on the sort of like at the level of wind noise. So. Actually, the wind protection a windshield will offer, it depends on how strong the wind is blowing. So if there's very little wind, obviously you won't get uh, 40, 50 dB of uh, wind uh, noise protection, but you will if you've got a very strong wind. So. And is the transparency of the casing uh, an issue? Yes, it's huge. I mean, for us, you can, you can always make a windshield. Uh, I mean, you could put it inside a concrete box and you'd have a very good windshield for your microphone, but obviously transparency wouldn't be uh, too good. So that's one extreme case where, for us, uh, size, weight and transparency uh, is key. You know, we don't want to lose anything. I mean, there's always a compromise as soon as you put a windshield of any type onto a, a microphone. But for us, with the Cyclone, it was always about matching the wind performance that people were used to and the sound that they would get with a Ryko, but with minimal loss at HF. And that's, that's what this material has achieved. So. Simon, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us at the busy ABC show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. This is Stephen Preston for InBroadcast.